Here we go, people. I am your host for New Release Wednesday. I am Patrick Michael Strange, and this is your NRW for July 22nd, 2015. My guests for today's show are the Painted Visions crew, my sponsors for this awesome show. Shout out to my man Adam Martin and Nornrad Harlow. They're going to be giving their great picks for this week. And now here we're going to turn it to our In Case You Missed It segment with my man behind Fantasy Killer. His name is Kevin Hawk. Here you go. Hey, what's up? In case you missed it, I'm Kevin Hawk from creator of Fantasy Killer, a story, it's a horror, four-piece horror story about a guy who's so frustrated with his everyday life, he starts having detailed daydreams about killing people that he knows. And as he's having these dreams, he loses his grip on reality as well. So you're waiting to see, is he going to snap, is he not going to snap? There's elephants on fire, there's blood, there's guts, everything you could possibly want in a horror story. Uh, issue 1 and 2 are available at Third Eye Comics, HandsomeDevilComics.com, Comixology.com, and issue three is coming soon in June. So uh, check it out, handsomedevilcomics.com. Thanks a lot. All right, what's going on, guys? This is Patrick. And as you see, I survived Sharknado. It leads into my picks. These are my picks for July 22nd, 2015. And I have, first up, Archie versus Sharknado, one shot from Archie Comics. It's being written by the trilogy director of Sharknado, Anthony C. Ferrante. Um, right now, as you know, it's only been two Sharknados, but they are making a third one. And Archie versus Sharknado kind of leads into it, so you're going to want to check this out if you're a Sharknado fan. And on the art chores is my man, Dan Parent. So, how is the Sharknado coming to Archie Riverdale? Why not? We've already seen Archie versus Predator. We've seen Afterlife with Archie. The Archie crew over there at the Archie Publishing House are having a fun time incorporating the Archie Riverdale mythos into some of these other cool pop culture stuff. So I'm digging it. I'm loving it. I loved Afterlife with Archie. Um, Archie versus Predator is getting ready to wind up and it's been a fun ride. So why not Archie versus Sharknado, y'all? It looks cool. Um, the gang are on vacation for the summer and uh, as they're out there barbecuing and grilling, here comes this tornado with sharks. Awesome. And now it's coming to Riverdale. What are they going to do? Awesome. Archie vs. Sharknado One Shot by Anthony C. Ferrante, the trilogy director behind Sharknado, and Art Chores are Dan Parent. Cool stuff. I'm going to check it out. My second pick, y'all know I'm a Valiant fan. Book of Death number one was my pick last week, as well as uh, Book of Death Legends of the Geomancer. So for this week, I have Book of Death Fall of Bloodshot number one being uh, written by Jeff Lemire with art by Doug Braithwaite who uh, was the awesome artist uh, behind uh, Unity number one with uh, the Valiant Gang. And you know Jeff Lemire, he's done uh, Mind MGMT. Actually, that's Matt Kent. Sorry, Matt. Didn't want to give Jeff that credit. But he's done awesome work over uh, on uh, Justice League United. Jeff's an awesome guy. Great talent. Oh, Animal Man. He was tearing it up on Animal Man. Jeff Lemire, good stuff. Fall of Bloodshot uh, for the Book of Death series where we're essentially, as you know, on the main Book of Death uh, there's a new Geomancer. Geomancer K died during the whole Valiant uh, miniseries, and now all the Valiant heroes are going after this little girl who Eternal Warrior is protecting because she knows what's going to happen to the to the rest of the heroes. She has the Book of Death, and Book of Death follow Bloodshot. We're going to find out what happens to Bloodshot. So cool stuff. Bloodshot is one of the premier characters, and I can't wait to see what's going on with that. And if he gets his nanites back, that you if spoiler alert, if you didn't read Valiant, the nanites were pulled from his bloodstream. Does he get his nanites back in the Bloodshot, Fall of Bloodshot? So we'll find out in that. So uh, Book of Death, Fall of Bloodshot, number one, is my second pick. My top pick is Cyborg, number one, being illustrated by Ivan Reyes, with uh, the writing chores going to my man David Walker. I'm a huge Cyborg fan, and uh, with Teen Titans Go, it's only solidified more of my love for uh, Cyborg, even though it's completely different. He's a little bit more campy and hilarious on the Go series. The regular Cyborg is going to be a lot more serious and uh, really coming off of his uh, role now being a member of the Justice League in the comic book instead of Titans in the comic book. Um, looking for more development of uh, Cyborg and actually that's kind of what's going down in the first issue. His armor that makes him Cyborg is starting to evolve a little bit more. So that's going to be pretty interesting. I'm interested where they're going to take this and uh, now giving Cyborg more of this spotlight. So those are my picks. Hey guys, this is Adam, manager of Paint Visions, here to give you my picks for this week in comics. First, I'm going to go ahead and start off with Future Imperfect, the battle between Thang and Maestro, and now that Maestro wants to go take on Doom, works like it's going to seem out work well for Thang. So we're interested to see how that works, but we also got to worry about Thang's uh, little rebellion trying to free him. Hope that doesn't throw too much of a wrench in it, but who knows. Next, we're going to talk about Old Man Logan. 
If you guys have not read the original Old Man Logan trade, please come see me so I can sell it to you. It is some of the best Wolverine stuff I've ever read. But right now, Wolverine's traveled over the walls of Battle World and gone into other realms he's not supposed to. So now he's seen all types of stuff that he wasn't supposed to, and we're looking forward to see what happens, as in the last panel, he saw Apocalypse. That can never lead to anything good. Then lastly, I'm going to talk about Fight Club 2, Issue 3. I love the movie. I didn't get it the first couple times I watched it, but this comic has been amazing. I cannot tell you how good it is. It's written by the, uh, the same guy that wrote the movie. The name slipped my mind right now, but for a sequel, it picks up like you couldn't believe. Right now, Tyler's been involved in Sebastian, who is the narrator from the movie, his life for a lot longer than we realized. And now Marla's helped put Sebastian over the edge to go find Project Mayhem and help find his son because Tyler does have something to do with this. So my name is Adam, and those are my picks for this week. What's going on, everybody? This is Norn from Pain and Visions Comics here for the new comics this week. Uh, my number one is Star-Lord and Kitty Pride. number one coming out this week. Peter Quill finds Kitty Pride, but is the one from his universe? We'll find out. Uh, number two is Injustice, year four. Number six, uh, last we left off, the gods of Olympus came down to tear Wonder Woman away from the side of Superman and destroy Superman's reign of terror. How's it going to end up? Who's going to win? Next issue. And number three is good old Future Imperfect. Maestro Hulk, the thing, squaring it off. Random appearance of Red She-Hulk. What can we find out? We'll look forward to it. Uh, so hi guys, um, my name is Scott Lang. I'm Ant-Man and uh, Patrick and Norrin and Adam, they uh, were excited about my movie that just uh, debuted in theaters. So they went to go check it out. And I think you should too. It's really cool, Marvel Comics Ant-Man. Next installment in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I think we did a pretty good job on it. So uh, check it out, Ant-Man and uh, I guess I'll help out Patrick and Norton and Adam. Check out their show, New Release Wednesday. You can subscribe to their show on YouTube. That's youtube.com slash New Release Wednesday. And uh, they have a Facebook page. Why don't you shoot that a like, too? I think they'll appreciate that. That's uh, facebook.com slash New Release Wednesday. I'm Ant-Man from Marvel Comics. I hope you dig my movie. Check it out. See you guys later. Bye.